on behalf of the University of Minnesota, on behalf of Fermilab, on behalf of the Department of Energy, on behalf of all of the collaborating institutions in NOVA, and you can see a sign outside that lists all of them. Uh, I'm pleased to welcome you here today. Um, for a lot of us, this is a, a journey that started back in 2001. We first started thinking about the science we wanted to do in this laboratory. Uh, and, and it's taken us uh, uh, this long to get going, but boy, it was sure worth the wait. That question of why should the, the Big Bang have produced an enormous amount of matter and antimatter, but then left a little bit of matter left over so that we could have stars and planets and, and people that make this universe what it is. Um, the answer to that question, I mean, currently we don't know the answer to that question, and that's why we keep doing experiments like this. There's an idea that maybe it has something to do with these particles called neutrinos. Now, I think it's really important to recognize that this is the way science is done. These abstract ideas, neutrinos and energy, matter, antimatter, the way we make those things real is by building things. And uh, this laboratory is a great monument to, uh, to what the way we power science by, by building things. It's an awesome facility. We came up here when it was just rock and mud and forest, and so to see it uh, realized is, is really fantastic. It's also scarily big. We have to fill it with detector, and so that's the, the work that we have to do in the next year or so. But after that, this is a terrifically exciting program. It's the largest program of Fermilab in this decade, and we look at extraordinary results. And the detector that you're going, you see here some components of, is uh, the largest plastic structure in the universe, I believe. So I think the last thing that I want to say is to do something like this uh, takes not only, ex you know, it's extraordinary physics, it's ex extraordinary technology, extraordinary team, but it also takes extraordinary determination. Hello from Fermilab. And uh, hello to you and all those present up there in Minnesota. It's great that we were able to arrange this connection to join you virtually at that uh, ceremony. So it's really with a lot of excitement here at Fermilab that we embark on this next phase of our life in, uh, in accelerators here at Fermilab, continuing to increase the beam power that we deliver for neutrino physics and the science that's done with neutrinos. And we're really eagerly looking forward to seeing the first neutrinos captured right up there in the NOVA detector at Ash River. And the work to be conducted here at NOVA is exactly that kind of exciting basic research that takes us down roads, in this case fairly remote roads, and leads to eventually things that we don't know. It's incredibly exciting and incredibly uh, important to do this kind of research, and I'm delighted uh, that the University of Minnesota is playing such a prominent role uh, in this enterprise. Uh, this is also a wonderfully global project with scientists from around the world, the United Kingdom, Greece, and Brazil, among others, uh, engaged with us. Uh, to all of the community members here, thank you uh, for being great neighbors. Uh, we're all proud to have NOVA in uh, this part of the state of Minnesota. Uh, it's going to be a great scientific advance and an important part of the scientific culture of Minnesota. So thank you all for being here. Uh, the time when your experiment is starting to come together is a special time. Uh, especially in particle physics where our experiments tend to be very big and ambitious and the time scale to put these things together tends to be very long. Uh, that phase when you can finally get occupancy of the experimental hall and every day you come in and you see it getting just a little bit closer to being done, that is a very exciting, motivating time. So for all the students and the postdocs, technicians, engineers, every, all the crew here who make it possible, I would just say, you know, take a minute every now and then to appreciate what you're accomplishing here because it really is special and important. So neutrino physics is just now reaching a level of sensitivity where it is possible to really probe basic neutrino properties and answer fundamental physics questions. So it's a great time to be a neutrino physicist and it's a great time to be working here on NOVA. So when people say today that America can't do anything big anymore, when people say times are tough and we have to scale back our ambitions, you know, maybe we can't do everything we'd like to do, I think you have a very good counter argument right here in the woods of northern Minnesota. Uh, we still can do big things in America that we can still be leaders in science, that we did this today and we will continue to do it tomorrow. <laughs>